Welcome to episode 23 of Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus. I am the Dungeon Master Jake, and we're going to get started here in a second. But previously on Venture Ventures, uh, the Bean Squad, following a Holophant's dream premonitions, made it to a hill full of iron trees with crucified soldiers on it, and uh, had a debate as to whether they'd help these tortured souls off the trees eventually deciding to do that uh talking to a vampire member of the these uh tortured souls uh when they took the vampire off uh he disintegrated into dust um signifying his soul was no longer being tortured uh presumably it would have been tortured forever um which triggered a bunch of mosquito, infernal mosquitoes, large infernal mosquitoes to descend upon them. And uh, following shortly thereafter, a massive uh, infernal horse, flaming horse, uh, swooped out of the sky with a man on it named Haruman with a massive two-handed sword um, who met them in combat. Uh, and um, proceeded to defend the hill, which he was using on Zeriel's behalf, the Archduke of Avernus, uh, defend the hill, and eventually, if there's a few close counters, encounters with uh, death, I believe, for one of you oh. at least. And yeah, yeah. he was he, he was pummeling all of us. Yeah, he was he was rough. Um, we, 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 if he had healed, we would have died. Like, just before he healed, uh, a killing blow managed to destroy him and, uh, leaving a crumpled bit of metal and dust and not much left. Um, and that's where we left off, I believe. Oh, with Lulu being taken mid battle by a infernal. Um, by a infernal hell wasp, kind of redundant, but um, taken somewhere, probably to a nest. Uh, but Lulu is gone, their leader, in terms of the plot, at least. So, um, that's where we left. We are in the market for a new NPC. <laughs> uh, uh th there's no NPC market in hell, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys decide not to find her, I can come up with someone just as annoying, if you'd like. I don't uh, think she's annoying. Oh, uh, well, some of you might. I don't know. I think she's kind of annoying because I always forget about her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you... So sweet and helpful. Rolocos, you are... She kills crabs. Alive with one, I am. one point of exhaustion. Yes. All right. And ten health. Yeah, I'm Jerry's very like scorched and hooved. Is everyone everyone standing? Jarvis has one last uh one last healing potion. By one last I mean Jarvis has none left. <laughs> standing above all of you, uh looking looking rather fine. Dragon Jarvis just looks around looks like you uh you all look pretty rough. I'm good. Yeah, you look alright. We we did alright. Yeah. You guys should probably try ste stepping back a little yeah. bit. I I did step back. They ran at me. And here I keep hearing about how fast you are. Anyway, which way did somebody see which way uh, Lulu was taken? That yeah, way. it was that away, and I point to the sky in the direction that she was taken. Sure. Uh, are there any noteworthy landmarks? Um, you think you can? There, there's a little blip in the distance of like a oblong ball hanging in the air. Um, it's hard to tell from the top of the hill how far it is, being that you're in hell and distances aren't aren't what they are in the on the material plane. So um, you you definitely think you know where it is, but I will if you guys are going to head out right now, uh, foregoing any rest. I assume. Uh, uh, I wanted to look uh, around the hill a little bit. Okay. I mean, Lou wanted us to come here, but did she say what was here specifically? The sword, right? Maybe. 
Yeah. Um, I started. Sword's around, supposed to be here. Started Somewhere. looking on the base of the tree that Jandar. I thought Haramon was going to give it to us. And uh, Maggie, Mag, Mad Maggie, um, wanted us to take care of the now dead thing. I think. Oh, sweet. So that's, that's a bonus. Yeah, this is a bonus. She, One she bird is down. <laughs> Uh, make an investigation check if you're going to search. Yes, sir. I am going to drink my only greater healing potion. Okay. And that's 15. what, 40? Jarvis four? is also going to look with Kyra, or not Kyra. 44 oh plus 4, I think. Oh, yeah. he's dead. <laughs> uh, dra drag? Dra drac? Drac? Drac. Drac. What did you get, a uh, Drac? 15. Okay. And 16. All right. Uh, what are you searching, Jarvis? The same tree? I'm searching. Uh, I was actually going to search Haramon. Okay. It's a. What's left? A pile. What's left, what's left of him? Yeah, it's a pile of crumpled up uh, armor and metal, including the sword. Uh, you do find a, a tack, like a horse tack, uh, made of infernal iron. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Drac, you don't find any, you dig down a little bit. Amazingly, this iron tree is much like a normal tree in that it does have roots. You just don't know how far they go down, what they are possibly anchored to, or, or, uh, if they're even functional roots, like a normal tree. Uh, maybe these iron trees are just here as implements to crucify betrayers. Uh, you're Got unsure. Uh, give me one second. There's something else I want to do, but it involves counting. Okay. Seven, eight, 16. Uh, that was fun in fourth grade, huh? Um, so what would you like to do now other than drag? Um, should we hop in the car and follow Lulu, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot we brought the car. It's a but, uh, of I could use a rest. You um, could get it in the car, at least, depending on how far we gotta go. Sounds good. If you don't need me to man the, uh, harpoon or something. I don't I think can... our car has weapons, does it? It does. Yeah. It does. does it? It just doesn't have one of those big grappler things, or like they, it doesn't have the uh, wrecking ball. Does it have it? Um, no, it has something else. Which one's has... ours? The demon grinder, the torment. Yeah, we have the demon grinder with the harpoons. Yeah, the demon grinder. It does have a, uh, it's a wrecking a ball. Wrecking ball and two harpoons. Yeah. Oh, it does have it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Wrecking ball, harpoons, and the the mouth in the front. Yep. Yeah, chomper. Yep. Chomper. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast sending. Okay. <clears throat> to Lulu. Okay. Hey guys, doesn't this big uh, <laughs> chomper thing like chomp up demons and then make soul coins? Do you want to just you... like? Do you want to just drive around and do that for a while? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I need more arrows, that sounds like a great way to get them. Yeah, because I could use like more healing potions and stuff well, like that. They said they'll they'll take gold down here. It just might not be in a very preferable exchange rate. Dave, I'm curious. <laughs> do you think they make soul coins, or does let's or... let's not talk about roller? No, Jerry's just about. asking. I, I don't. I, I Dave doesn't know. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought I remembered something about that. Like that was the whole purpose of the soul grinder thing. I don't no. think we can trust rollercoasters when it comes to exchange rates. Yeah, you yeah, can. We got we got we got Drac now, our master negotiator. He knows exactly how many arrows to give us. Uh, so just to uh, a friendly uh, freebie reminder, the the engine on these infernal machines runs on soul coins or souls. It does not create soul coins. Uh, okay, I thought the demon grinder like killed them and then converted them to soul coins. Nope. Um, those of you with proficiency in 
arcana or history, I'll say, or religion. And yeah, all three. Uh, make make a, one of those checks. Your choice. I am none of those things, so. I will see if I don't think I'm too proficient in that. 11 with my roll of four. <laughs> you don't have proficiency there, Drek? Nope. Okay. Uh, 11. Yeah, you think um, you read somewhere, Jarvis, that um, there's definitely a layer of hell and there's definitely like a banker of the nine hells who's in charge of that, who probably strictly controls... The exchange the, rate? The exchange, <laughs> the ex, well, the, uh, just how much currency is out there um, for their benefit. Yeah, so. But I don't know his name or where I can find him. Correct. Maggie probably would. Definitely not on this, on this layer of hell. Noted. Um, mostly just telling you that to give you more information about, uh, about how these soul coins are created. Um, so, uh, you want to head off or oh, I want to cast sending. Yeah, yeah, sending. I want to cast sending to Lulu, and I'm gonna say, Lulu, where are you? Who are the wasps bringing you to? Where's the sword? We can't find it. Uh, we'll yeah. come for you. I'm gonna start counting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> she only gets 25 words yeah uh, she says yeah um i've i've been thinking about that and i think there's another lead i'm in a nest or you're counting for me, thank you, because it's getting difficult. Uh, I don't often count past ten. Um, and it's... <laughs> it's sticky. Three more. And there's these wasps. Um, and, okay. That's it. And then, and we got and there are these. <laughs> no sword information. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know she's in the nest. You want to cast again? I can't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So why are we following Lulu? She is distinctly unhelpful. She does have a bad memory. <laughs> well, she's got a bad off. memory. We wouldn't even be bad here bad without memory. her. Yeah, see, Lulu's she's got a lot of hidden information. We just got to get it out of there. It's in her head somewhere. Oh, gotcha. So don't uh, don't try talking to her again. Got it. Well, yeah, so Wasp took her. It's apparently a nest, and there's a bunch of them. So, uh Get okay. something that, that you can throw, Jerry, because uh, they're going to be flying, I'm guessing. Well, anything uh, can be thrown. Jarvis, can can you make him fly? I can't do that. Uh, uh, something to keep in mind if yes. uh, we come across <gasps> Boston, You can make me I'm fly? Pretty much guaranteed. Oh. Yeah, I mean, last time I was practicing, Thanks. it didn't go well, and I haven't had time, but, you know, I'm worth the, it's worth a try. Let's do it. Uh, probably when we get there, it looks super far away or really close. I don't know because we're so. Like when you make me fly, like will I be able to do the steering, or are you steering for me? No, it's all you, bro. Yes. Nice. I like the idea that in hell and the forgotten realms in a fantasy setting that people still say bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's eternal. Yeah. It's been passed down through generations. Yeah. Right. The etymology of bro on the in the Forgotten <laughs> Realms is is lost it, to time. It probably started in hell, realistically. <laughs> that's a good chance of that. I feel like I bro only said bro because yeah. that's like I feel like I like I caught the Jerry and I started talking like him. Yeah, fair, fair. Uh, I I wasn't being sarcastic when I said I like it. I genuinely genuinely like it. Uh, <laughs> adventuring parties you start rubbing off on each other yeah um so yeah, let's, head uh, out? let's go who's, so yeah. who's driving this are we just giving up on the sword well we can I come back find anything all right 
Maybe Lulu oh. knows how to find it. Oh, Lulu did mention that uh, there's apparently another lead for the sword, so oh, it might not even see. be here. Yeah, so let's go get Lulu. So we all jump into the vehicle. Who's driving? Who's on what? I'm on the wrecking ball. I call it. I'm going well, to try to take... I'm sorry. I'm going to rest. Jarvis is going to attempt to do a short rest to get an arcane recovery. Okay. Uh, I guess that leaves me driving. Yeah, I mean, I could... Can I sit in the harpoon chair but still attempt to get a short rest? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll sit in the wrecking ball chair and get a short rest. If you use anything... Yeah, it's going to break it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, and not take a short rest. Okay. Uh, so heading in the direction you saw her being taken, uh, you, uh, it takes an hour and a half or so to, so you do get your short rest, uh, approaching this area of Avernus. Um, it is, you see a bunch of, uh, like sacks that are kind of sacks of mucus paper mache it looks like um specifically you see one floating in the air gigantic sack of material floats high above about 100 feet uh the surface of hell and angelic figures with feathery wings stick to its surface like flies in amber their bodies struggling futilely underneath the layers of gunk iron chains at the bottom of, of the structure tether it to the hellish landscape and uh, this is the only one currently floating. There are what looks like older ones, rotting ones, uh, scattered about, not very close to this one. But, um, yeah, you see writhing angels stuck to the side and also chained to the top um, in various... The... Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. What's the scale, the size of this? Um, It is... I already mentioned it's 100 feet above. And it is like 50 feet tall. Uh, and maybe 50 feet wide. Okay. In spots. But it's not like, it's not a perfect circle. It's, yeah. So like towards the top and bottom, it's thinner. Um... And uh, it's not dissimilar from a normal large hornet's nest, um, if you've ever seen those. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you see. 100 feet above the ground. What would you like to do with your car? Would you like to hoof it in? Um, whoever would like to make a perception check can do that. I would like to do that as I approach with the car um, from a good distance away to see how many, like, are there wasps flying around? You see every once in a while one fly in um, and fly out, but it's not a busy, it's not, forgive me, a buzz with uh, action and movement. I'll forgive you. Uh, I slow up and wake up the guys. Hey, hey, guys, we're here. Guys, wake up. Oh, oh. Uh, and I do that like cat yawn. Yeah. Yeah. How there you go. Uh, it's right up there. It looks like we can climb these chains uh, or cut them and it might make it fall. I don't really know how that works. But I don't think we should drive much further. The noise is probably going to draw the wasps out. Yeah. So the chains go all the way up to this thing that's floating 100 feet in the air, right? It Yeah, it goes up to the bottom. The chains are connected from the ground to the bottom of this thing and they're taut beautiful i'm going to send my i'm going to basically pop my spider back into existence and send it up these chains um i can only get are you guys um, approaching stealthily or yeah we're yeah. not there yet we, yeah, we we're not there yet. back okay um but yes that's what i was going to suggest i'm going to and i kill the engine um the car it seems no one's around I think we should hoof it from here. Try to be quiet, like. Holy shit, somebody else that actually wants to be quiet? It's the, Our old friend your, that your like a bowl lesson. was not very quiet. Um, yeah, I'll cast uh, Pass Without a Trace on us. Okay. Ooh, that's what an extra 
D. It's an extra fl a flat ten. Oh, class, that's right. Yeah, just class ten. Stealth rolls natural all around. Tw natural twenty. Nice. Plus two. 20, plus ten. Twenty-seven for me. Twenty. <sighs> Fucking what's math? Twenty-five. Okay. I'm sneakier than the cat. Thirty-two. Dave. You're muted, Dave. Nat 20. Nice. So, so what's your total? 21. Plus 31. Plus 10. 31. You guys are fucking, yeah, quiet. And um, you find little rock outcroppings to jump from and manage to not step on brittle bones that may snap and crack. Uh, you get to the base of one of these chains um you're nearly underneath one of uh, you're nearly underneath this uh nest i'm sorry did you say how many chains were there two three there's like uh there's like three three okay all right so uh climb up yeah i i, I was gonna send i have you haven't met him yet but or her my, my friend charlotte poof charlotte on my shoulder she, oh, she yeah, can go up you. there she can yeah, yeah. she can take a peek for us first. I like that better than me. What is, what is Charlotte? Spider. Oh, okay. How far can um, you send her with? I uh, think it's a hundred. I think I can see for a hundred feet. Let me just double check. And then you can send her the rest of the way. Tell tell yeah. her right. Yeah. And it can return and give you info. Yeah. I haven't used her. Yeah. While you're familiar with a hundred feet, you can communicate telepathically. So. Okay, so you see, see through the eyes in here. So from from here, you see various holes in at various levels. There's no defined like levels of this structure, but it's just random, seemingly randomly placed holes in the, from the bottom to the top. Where are you sending her roughly? Uh, are you just the first hole she comes to? Yeah, we'll start with the first. Is so these holes start at how high up? Is it outside of my 100 feet? Um, yeah, it would be outside your 100 feet. Okay, then I'll send her... I'll kind of tell her to... Um, actually, I'll roll a stealth check for her, too. Good call. Um, she does not get the plus 10. She's too far away. She got it when she before she left, though, right? Or no? Yeah, but it's you have to be constantly within 30 feet. Oh, okay. Um, and gets a plus 4 on stealth, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a 13 out of 19. Uh, 15? Okay. Oh, no. Uh, 17. Okay. I can't count. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sending her into the first hole, she sees uh, about a 30-foot uh, asymmetrical round room with a central pillar for lack of a better term uh it's a pretty empty room there are various backpacks and equipment scattered about uh like maybe this is a storage room of some sort i assume she makes it back to check in with me yeah okay so she gives me that i kind of as i'm watching her i i tell my friend i can't hear you but I start describing what she sees so far, and then I tell her to keep going and look in the next crevice and come back. Okay, so she comes out from the first hole lower down. She goes, climbs up uh, to a higher up hole, and... Well, while she's out of your reach and you can see and talk to us again, uh, I say to the group, well, if that's just a storage room, we could probably move up there, you know, get out of the open, and then you'd be able to communicate with her closer right yeah that would work what are we going to do about our car that's out here obviously someone's I'm gonna gonna left that back there no one's around okay you, do you, you got a you got a what's that called you know locking the steering wheel you got something for that no no we can no and i don't think we have a way to take the silicones out yeah no so so just as she enters the second level uh, she sees three hell wasps, and one of them, uh, sticks her with their stinger, gets a nat 20, 
And uh, how many health points does she have? Hit points. Um, do I have enough time to react as I see it, or no? To do what? Pull You're her gonna back? poof oh, her? Oh, I'm out of range of her. I can't poof her. Right. I can't see this, can I? Yeah. Crap. Uh, how many hit points did you or roll? Charlotte. For? Uh, she only spiders only have one hit point. Okay, so she's done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I guess we're having this conversation. Job well done, DM. I didn't mean That's to take like a drink like, like her. <laughs> what, Dave? Uh, your your face just dropped, Jarvis. Everything okay? I'm kind of well at this point. I feel like I'm waiting for a few minutes and wondering like why isn't she come back? Because I could I didn't see that. You so... know she's gone. Oh, I know she's gone. Okay, yeah, magic um, is gone. The magic is dead. I I felt her <laughs> and 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 then she, something you know bad she's happened, dead. guys. Yeah, she's she's, she's chilling. She's, gone. she's okay. chilling at home on the Feywild. She's, she, she's gone. There's something up there in that second room. I don't know what it is, but I that you know you have that connection. You know how Drock. You know when you and me were like connected. That, yeah. That that I link kind of just was right like. Now. I'm gonna go with it was a wasp. <gasps> you did see three hell wasps. Yeah. Right before you died. Um, Oh yeah, you didn't see it. Fuck it. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. All right, let's uh we shouldn't dilly dally down here, I don't think. Let's start climbing. Yeah. All right. So we confirmed that there are wasps in there. Great. Um, should I uh give some one of you maybe the ability to fly in case someone falls and they can catch them? In case something happens. Can you uh, what's I can make the two range? of us fly. Um I don't think it's concentration. What's the range on the cast? Sure it is. I have to touch you. So if you're thinking like I do it as needed, I can't do that. Oh, okay. I guess I can touch myself if someone falls and I can go get him. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you touch yourself. Touch. Reach out and touch well, me. Keep an eye on me. I'd, I'd like to think I can do this again, but I feel a little weaker than I used to be in my youth. Let's do it. And I right. start heading up. So in reaction to anyone losing grip and, and possibly falling off the chains, I will cast fly in myself. Okay. Athletics check on it for everyone. Do, 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 do. Cat, hello, you're I assume I can't take acrobatics for that. Absolutely not. <laughs> it was worth a try. Sure, sure, sure. All right, 15 from me. I might say yes if you were a monk or some shit, but you wouldn't need it really. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was... Uh, not twenty for a twenty-three. Okay, Dave. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. A damn oily substance that coats my. Um, skin. I'm also yeah. going to the cast one. message directly <laughs> up. I can cast 120 feet. I'm gonna try to call out for Lulu <clears> and point <throat> in that direction. Do I get a response? Do you have negative athletics? Uh, fortunately, no. Um, I have a, I have a, my, my, my little stone that. That's hanging off of my one horn. It gives me a uh, plus zero. Gets me all the way to plus zero. Nice. <laughs> so I'm glad I took that magic item or else I would have rolled a zero, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so from the bottom, uh, you don't get any contact. And then about halfway up, uh, you, I assume you cast it again. Yeah, and, I keep trying to like. Yeah, as you get higher. Um, you do hear her, and then you also notice that uh, Drac is falling. God dang it. I did go up first, so I mean, I was I was at the top of the. I also have a. I think I get like a. Which is worse speed because you're higher up. Uh, I'm, I'm higher up and fall, but I'm falling at them. Yeah, that's true. So I cast it's kind of at an angle. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> I kind of like fly up and try to grab him and pull him back towards the uh, the chain. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna want to make a. I assume you're not proficient in athletics, so I can just tell you strength, right? Yeah, I have a negative one on strength and athletics. Okay, so just do a strength check to catch him and hold on. If you roll a nat one, that'll be interesting. Fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Uh, and what's your size? Like your weight? You're you're pretty slim, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I've wasted away quite a bit okay yeah you, you're able to catch him like five six okay <laughs> yeah, you're able to catch him it's a it's a sticky proposition slimy uh i don't know if jarvis is a 
fastidious person or likes to keep clean, but definitely not clean anymore. Uh, uh, let, let me. Oh, that was the other game with the wine. Never mind. <laughs> that was Burning Man. Yeah. Uh, you, catch me? you you do catch him, and uh, you take him back to the chain. Yep. You grab on, and you're. Can, I whisper. Can you hold on this time? Uh, try, I'll try. Thanks for thanks for the grab. <clears throat> Maybe stay near me. So you're. All of you are halfway up. Uh, make another athletics check. Oh, I did so good. I'm, and I'm sorry, did you say I've heard anything back from Lulu or no? Uh, what did you ask her? Uh, I said, uh, Lulu, the first thing I would have said is, Lulu, can you hear me? Uh, she says, yes. Lulu, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, and I ask, what do you see? Can you describe what's around you? Uh, I see two hell wasps. And there's other people stuck to the wall with slime, whatever. It's gross. It smells bad. And, yeah. Did you see a spider? No. Wasp. <laughs> Can you see anything outside of, of, of where you're at? No, I just see a little entrance. Like a couple you, holes in the wall. Can you move or are you tied down? I'm tied down with the sticky stuff. Uh, so what did everyone get on their second athletics check? Uh, we'll we'll end with Brian because it'll be good. Uh, Jerry, what'd you get? Twenty-two. I got a mod twenty. Okay. Fifteen. But I'm flying, so does it really matter? <laughs> Drax starts to fall again. Oh my god, this guy! <laughs> I'm right next to him at this point. I'm just like kind of hovering next to him as we go up. Make a strength just... check. Mm, god. Why don't you just carry him to the top? I, I was like... going to ask for that. How much did you weigh? <laughs> what did you That's roll? Good. Not good. Hit me with it. Seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, you lose grip and he's falling. Um, uh, you got quickly, another chance to I quickly try to grab him again. Yeah, make another check. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Same fucking roll. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh no! It's too bad we weren't <laughs> lose another oh, no. <laughs> another Brian. <laughs> shit happens. So you know me. It's a I D6 per character. ten. <laughs> uh, can Jerry lay try to lay it on this squishy? Um, I, can Jerry I, I, try to like I, rope, like lasso no, him? Hold on, as I as I miss twice, um, you don't miss. I, you grab on and well, lose grip. You're not. All right, as I go to grab him a third time, um, he hits the I ground. I cast a. <laughs> I he cast, told you you only had one more chance. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I cast a fourth level. <laughs> Fly, and I cast it on both of us. He hits the ground though. Like we're 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 doing this like two times. Oh, I didn't up. have enough time to try to. No, I I missed twice. Yeah, yeah it's two, two times chance. up, two two chances down. <laughs> we're not gonna do the uh, terminal okay. velocity in hell calculations. We're just gonna go with my intuition here. Uh, I don't think we. I would have hit terminal velocity. Whatever the calculator, I'm just using <laughs> so a term. So even with the sixty, what is the? Because I have sixty feet. We were, of we were past that, halfway yeah. up, right? I gave you two, two chances. So oh, that's what we're using. Um, Sorry, Drac. I tried. Yeah. Uh, should have. We should have done the uh, when we when we descended into a furnace. We should have. Uh, we should have tied ourselves to each other. <laughs> oh my god. Kairos was a lot better at climbing. Six. Uh, so it's 33 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. Wow. You're fine. So I go down to the ground <gasps> while everyone else is up there. What are you at? I down there. I'm oh my god! Drac, are you okay? But you missed Jarvis. Uh, 
I, <sighs> you were too slimy. I, I just slipped right off of you. I, if you didn't have oh. the slime on your body, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, that's fair. What's oh, your hit gosh. points at? I'm curious. Six. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, and I bend over and stretch out and it just cracks a whole bunch. <laughs> I can hear that crack in the ear, man. Uh, you can take care of yourself. Off. Well, here's the shitty part is now I'm down here. I mean, we still have to get up there. Do you have any? I mean, uh, if I bring you up there, I was just talking to Lulu. There's there's wasps protecting her. So, are you okay to fight right now? Uh, <laughs> not great. That's a my, my friend, I, I, can my, fight. My, I can't take a hit. My friend up there might be able to make you feel better. Um, why don't we like? Do you have anything I can grab onto that's not slimy? Uh, yeah, I got. Uh, and I start unwinding one of my arms. I Your friend that might be it. dead. <laughs> Um, and I, I, I have 10 feet of chain. Beautiful. Um, so, like, we can each hold on to this. I guess it would help. Or make can I, like, swing. I'm going to try to chain, tie the chain. And, like, can I try to chain, try to blah, 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 try to tie the chain to my waist? Sure. Make a uh, intelligence check tying it. Or dexterity. You don't need to make intelligence. Dexterity. 16. Yeah. You think you got a pretty good knots. Cool. And just for safekeeping, I'm also going to grab onto his arm and <laughs> fly away. So you're going to carry him? I'm just going to hold on. Yeah, I'm going to use I'm going to hold his arm and that's going to be kind of like the the chain's going to be like the safety net. Okay. Uh so you're going to one-armed hold him. Is that what you're saying? Or are you mm. like No, he said the chain's around his waist. He tied yeah. it around his waist. Okay. So, I'm holding on to the chain and he's carrying me though. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, if so he drops me, we still have a chance of the chain. You're using yes. two arms though, right? To hold him. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. But yeah, the chain's tied to me and I'm trying to hold him, but in case like he slips out of my hands, like the chain's there as like a backup. Yeah. Um, make one athletic check. It's going to be a low DC just if you roll. Uh, uh, yeah. 15. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you make it to the top. The rest of you are at the base of the hive. Um, you can. I suggest that we go into that first room we saw you guys. There was nothing in it that I could see. Once oh. Drak gets within touching range of me, I give him a second level cure wounds. Okay. Yeah, I don't like. I don't see? like doing this, guys. I. That's like my one of my rules for life is don't break into prison. So well, we're that, not. And prison keep, word wasp nest. keep my teeth clean I mean, you can go way down break there into... if you don't feel comfortable don't interrupt jerry when he's going <laughs> having a character moment uh clean teeth oh yeah it was just, uh, my rules for life and then my dad gave me keep your keep your big canine teeth clean clean and don't break into prison and now I'm breaking one of those rules Good this rules. isn't a prison this is a wasp nest this is obviously a prison. <laughs> it's obviously a wasp nest. Yeah, but there's angels stuck and tied to the outside of it. I mean... I'm just help. trying to make them feel better. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe it's not a prison. What is it, then? It's a wasp, a wasp nest. nest. <laughs> okay, it's just a wasp nest. It's cool. <laughs> Drock, you get 13 HP. Nice. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, oh man, the captain could see me now. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, hey, backpacks. Um, <laughs> you start looking in the backpack. Okay. Uh, let me put these d sixes away real quick. Um... <laughs> uh, do do Drock and I need to reroll stealth from our shenanigans? Or are we still good? Sure. We That's a stealthy? good idea. Should we all, or just them two? Uh, if if uh. Yeah, all of you do it. So are we still passing? Do we, do we still get the the pass without a trace? Has it been ten minutes? It's pretty close to the end, but you still get it right now. Okay. Neat. And I get a nineteen. Twenty-seven. Seven plus six is fucking thirteen. Twenty-three. Um, twelve. With the plus ten. Oh, we all get plus ten. Twenty-two. Okay. Good to know. What were you saying, uh, Gary? 
Oh, um, I was going to ask if, uh, since I started fly about halfway up, if you can just give me a heads up when 10 minutes is nearing. Okay. Um, yeah. Do, 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 just checking that. Uh, you find, you're searching this place. Make an investigation check. I'll help you. But I also want to roll. Go ahead. I got Natural 11. 20 plus 7. Oh. 5. I mean, uh, Jarvis, you find a backpack containing uh, some healer's kits, five of them. Nice. And you find a familiar-looking wand that you think may be a wand of magic missiles. (laughs) 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 Oh, oh. That's great. I definitely take the lot back. Uh, I'll grab one of those healers' kits. Yeah. And I divvy out. Can we? The, yeah, one to everybody. What is, is it? Just a standard healing potion? Did... No, it's, it's the, the written uh, function of it is you can stabilize people uh, uh, without needing to make a check. Ah. Uh. So it's like less than um, a uh, healing potion. Don't you have to be proficient yes. in medicine, though? Not to do that. If you're proficient, then you get advantage or something. Yeah, some you're, you get there are other bonuses. Oh, okay. You get the, the, the strict item you can stabilize people with it. Cool. What is it? And does anyone know in D and D Beyond what it's filed under? Because healers kit. Oh, not instead of healing. Okay. Yeah, healers with an apostrophe. Got it. I've equipped it. Also, narratively, because that's another important use of your inventory. It has bandages, salves, you know, healers kit stuff. Stuff that you need right now. Stuff that I need right now. <laughs> and I definitely start putting some bandages on <laughs> where my skin broke because I hit the ground so hard. <laughs> You just got a big bruise on wherever you fell. So since yeah. I didn't get an opportunity to tell my party because Drac fell, um, I fill in my party on uh, knowing that... Um, <laughs> Jerry's like... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I assume I kind of get a general idea of how far away she is based on I know how far this I, I've been able to cast the spell in the past. You think um, she's in the hive? She's cool. above you. Yeah, she's she's up there somewhere. She said she's She's stuck down. There's two wasps protecting her, and she's she can't move. Um, All right. and I can keep. Spider. I can talk to her right now from where we're at, though. Jerry just whispers to Drac. He's he just says, "Hey, man, the the last guy we had in, in the crew, he he died, and I, man, I wish I had taken it like more that battle more seriously. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna watch out. I'm gonna watch out for you. So can you tell me where you what, what part of your body you fell on? Hey, hey man, thanks. I I appreciate that. Uh, my back I landed flat on my back. And Jerry just like lifts up <laughs> Drax's shirt to like look at his look at his back. I'm not he's wearing like, a shirt. Oh, oh he's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> he just looks at his back and he's just like slimy. Oh bruises. man, you <laughs> fell right on those bruises. <laughs> oh, uh, that must have hurt, man. So God. I I love that we're we're all getting along and all, but I can't. I can't do this whole flying thing for long, and Drax still tied to me, so I think we should. It's out. Go before. Oh. I take some like Flat. I take some of the sticky stuff that's on the ground. I like rub it on on his back. Oh, it's kind of sticky, dude. That oh, gross. It's, it's gonna like, mm. it's gonna like seal it up, and it'll like the energy of it will be good. It smells and... kind of like bile. It's holistic. That's what my sisters say. So, you know. spit. But it's like (laughs) just a bigger bee, you know? (laughs) Oh. All right. Okay. 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 (laughs) Just just because I'm. Thanks, Jerry. Imagine what Rollercoast would do if you rubbed that on him. Oh, boy. It'd be so (laughs) bad. (laughs) Carl's already had it all over. You guys would have to stop so he could clean himself. I'm going to have to after this anyway. I'm sure my hands are going to touch it at some point. I do have shoes on. Lucky. I don't have shoes either. 
I like cat with shoes. <laughs> 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 it's what so do funny. tabaxi's feet look like i don't know the whole thing about tabaxi <laughs> makes me laugh it's so funny to me can you imagine being in a bar like in a shitty medieval fantasy town and this cat comes in and it's just, you like hear well, why is it shitty <laughs> because it's it's replicating it's a medieval like, town they're yeah, all shit. it's a medieval town and you just hear like purring while he's this cat is drinking an ale. It's just so funny to me. I Walks don't... in and just in... whacks a flower is... pot. <laughs> Roller coaster and nobody even like. Roller coaster is black. Is black, it. right? He's a black cat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't even do it like with like any disdain or like. Nope. Any <laughs> shoves it over. Any just interest just walks in like straight face, just pushes it off. <laughs> no. Everyone looks, sees it happen, and doesn't hold them accountable to it in any way. <laughs> just... <laughs> <sighs> There's like a line of... added to my tab every time it happens. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a new new homebrew race feature. Oh my god. <laughs> of just of just ind- public indifference. Yeah. You can pull off minor shenanigans and <laughs> no one really seems to regret ni- or except dog people. people. <laughs> dog people are like why aren't anybody why isn't anybody getting fucking pissed about this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> um anyway <laughs> so you guys are are uh, in the first level of this place. You want to head up to the second. You see in the ceiling, there are, I'd say like four foot wide tunnels going up. Uh, not straight tunnels. They kind of curve uh, as this place is made out of organic material. Uh, so yeah, you think that's a way to get up to the second level, or you can climb outside and go up to one of those higher holes. In the Gary, will you fit up one of those holes? You asking, you, you that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, let me see. And he tries to go up one of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can fit. Um, it's sticky. We should all go up the same one. Yeah, God fine. knows uh, where these things go. I'll go up behind Jerry. Okay. I'm gonna climb up behind Jerry. I so, guess once again I will follow in the rear. All right. Uh, so there's multiple holes going up. So uh, Rollercoast and Jerry are leading the way. Is that? No, I would be third. Okay. So you guys are going up one hole. Uh, yeah. And it sounds like Jerry picked at random. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, you make your way up. And uh, they all you're coming to the queen. You're coming up into the second level, and uh, it's a much larger room than the first room, as this is more the kind of like if this thing is football oblong, football shaped. Uh, you're kind of in the middle section, um, and this room is about I don't know. I'd say fifty feet wide and. Forty that was feet. Great. Another close quarter fight for roller coasters. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's the best. <laughs> and there are three uh, columns in the center, and as you poke your head out and climb up, uh, everyone roll initiative because these three hell wasps that I had previously told you about, even though you couldn't have known, are there, and uh, we'll start initiative. I rolled two ones in a row. Oof. What's, what's your initiative then, Bummer. Jerry? Just plus one, so twos. Because uh, I have advantage on, yeah, on yeah. initiative. That's rough, man. Jarvis? Six. Yeah, I, I want to go first every battle because I want to take the damage. But Relicos? Sixteen. Technically, you're taking the damage because you're the first one up there. Drac. <laughs> right, right. Seven. No, yeah, we're we're all we're all up there. I thought. No, it's just you right now. The rest are, uh, they were <laughs> alerted when you popped hey, out of the hole. That, that worked out. This uh, is why you went first. Yeah, <laughs> it worked. No, I I just went first <laughs> to check to see if I could fit. All right. These hell wasps are uh, going first. Um, I'm gonna. Can I? I can bonus act. Can I? Can I rage? It's not your turn yet, unless there's a class mm-hmm. option. Yeah, something. Um, 
They're going to attack you with multi-attack. They're going to make two attacks, one with its sting and one with its sword talons. Sharp organic talons, uh, essentially legs. Uh, okay, sting. Uh, 26 on the sting and 16 on the sword talons. Oh, sorry. So that's, uh, yeah, they both hit. They, oh, sorry. Not the 16 doesn't hit. Okay. I thought you were saying damage. I was like, Jesus. No, it was not. So it's 11 piercing damage plus 2 fire damage and make a constitution saving throw. Eighteen. Okay, you're able to slough off the poison as you feel it coursing through your veins, um, starting to get angrier as the second attack comes from the second hell wasp. So that was 12 total damage? What was it? 11 plus 2, 13 total. Yeah. Okay. Next two attacks from the second one. That's a 10 and a 9. Those miss. The third yep. Hell Wasp is going to come at you with a 24 and a natural one, which misses. So the sting <laughs> hits. That is 10 piercing plus 9 fire damage. And you need to make a... Um, God, if I could have only just raged for some of this... I mean, that's why you have the advantage on initiative. Yeah. Um, just wasn't your what didn't go your way. Uh, another another Constitution saving thread or be poisoned. Oh, twelve. Just. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm no, sorry. Uh, ten. Oh, okay. Uh, you are poisoned, and while you're poisoned in this way, you're also paralyzed. Wow. A paralyzed. And he's stuck in the middle. He's not in the middle of the hole. He like I, you don't like hover over the hole when he pulled himself. He like okay. kind of like you're getting out of the pool, kind of. Got it. Um. And that is their turn. Rollercos. Uh, are you gonna push by or what are you gonna try to do? Uh. Fuck me. I am going to how the hole's only four feet wide. I guess I'm no, because there's two people ahead of me. I'll there's let you try Brock to and there's Jerry. So can I hold Jerry is not in the hole. He's out of the hole. Oh, okay. So there's only one. But Drock is still in front of me. Yeah. And I'll let you it'll be difficult terrain to climb the rest of the way and get past Drock. Meaning, okay. meaning, you'll be using mo you like your movement more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll do that, but do I see any of this? You hear it. You hear buzzing, hear and okay. you hear slashing, and you hear, uh, you hear Jerry making. You hear guttural. Jerry go. That sting didn't do anything, and then he goes, but that, that sting one did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I also on my way up there cast protection from good and evil on myself as an action yeah okay and uh you pop out of the hole with no movement left you're not in the hole but uh um jesus someone's screaming outside um yeah so do you have a bonus action or uh nope that's concentration. Drac. I get to the top of the hole. Yep. <clears throat> Pull yourself um, out. Stand up. Stand up. Uh, probably 20 feet of movement still. Uh, half your movement or to stand up. Line. Oh, after climbing out still. Yeah, so about 10 feet of movement. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> how close are the wasps around me? And if I'm not mistaken, Jerry and Rollercoast are also standing right next to me too. Right? Yes, correct. And the wasps are next to uh, Jerry surrounding him. So uh, one of them is within five feet of you. 
is there a way I the spell I have in mind is a ten foot radius, um, mm-hmm. but it would hit everybody in mm-hmm. a ten foot radius. Is there a way I can avoid one or both of my friends and get as many of the wasps as I can? No, um, you could get. I would say you could get. If you get all the wasps, you'll get Jerry. Okay. Um, you could get two of the wasps. Uh, and no one. And no one. I'll go with that option. Okay. Um, as I rush forward five feet to separate, or a few feet to get a little ways from. Yeah, the ten coast, feet. Yeah. I just like, like ball myself up and just lash out as tendrils of dark energy, um, arms of Hadar, just lash out at the two wasps uh, near me. And I need strength saving throws from both of them. Strength. Uh, That is an 18 and a 16. They both pass because they're jerks. Um, They both take four points of necrotic damage. Okay. And no effect. No other effect. Okay. These wasps are strong. Currently. Jarvis. Uh, At what point? So, crawling up, I see... Can I tell that Jerry is... um, paralyzed at all is there anything obvious um he's not he's not dipping and diving or trying to avoid anything he's just holding still amongst these wasps oh so i'm just standing up yeah cool um i'm going to how big is this room that we're in uh about or that they're in 50 feet 50 by 40 cool i'm gonna cast taste on my buddy Relicos. Okay. Because he feels very good all of a sudden. Okay. And I'm going to stay in the hole. You're going to stay in the hole. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Kind of like hidden. All right. Jerry, it was supposed to be your turn, but uh, you're paralyzed. You can make a saving throw at the end of your turn, though. Constitution. So I should just do that? Yeah. Man. Uh, not high enough. Let's see. Uh, nine. You are still poisoned and paralyzed. Oh. That's what I get for rolling well early. Uh, it is back to the Hell Wasp's turn. Uh, one of them, the two are going to go after the person casting Arms of Hadar. (laughs) So 26 and a 15 for the 15 misses. Okay, the Nice. That one hit. 26. Almost no way he's going to roll less than six damage. I almost cast protection from good and evil on you, but I'm a greedy cat. No, nah, it's all good. So 11 piercing damage from the sting that hit you, and six fire damage. Resisted. Down to three. Okay. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm super good at these. I'm going to get a one. I said it. I said I'm super good at these. I didn't. Uh, 21. Okay, yeah, you're good. You resist the poison effect of the sting. The second uh, wasp. Oh, right. Yeah, they each have two attacks. Yep, nope, you're right. So, a 24 and a 9. Same dealio. 24 hits, but roll your damage on that, because I'm going to drop in all likelihood after the first attack. 11. I'm down. Okay. So the second attack, 9 misses, but if I'm down, that's at advantage. Yeah. What? Because it's a melee attack, right? Unconscious. He di- oh, yeah. I'm stickler for the rules. You know I know him. Can't, <laughs> can't ignore him, Jake. I'll make you kill me again. Okay. 
my god. Okay, okay, one hit alone won't kill me. Maybe. Unless the poison is special and it insta-kills anyone unconscious. No, you get the sword talons on the second one. Yeah, yeah. That's an insta- that's a crit, right? Yeah, so if it'll, it be, hits. Two, it'll be two if it hits. So yeah, nine on the first it, roll. This is 22. Yeah, so it hits. All right, two fails. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're in hell, baby. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> This is going to be like a ship of Theseus where we're all basically different characters by the hey, end. I'll, I'll find I'll find the right one. The right one will survive. <laughs> no, I think good. I mean I think we're definitely the more characters are going to die. It's not just going to be you. All right, the third every, hell wasp is Every creature we run into now is like incredibly powerful. <laughs> the third hell wasp is going to hit Jerry who's paralyzed. So the attack has advantage. This will be good. It might also be you, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to take all seven of my uh, hit dice on my oh, short yeah. rest. That is... I debated. Uh, plus... Did you need to, Jerry? Six yeah, Jerry. I was down to ten after the after well, reading. You crazy. can you can roll them one at a time, just a heads up. I did. I did. Oh, okay. Six yeah. piercing damage and twelve fire damage for the sting, Jerry. And so then eighteen total. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, eighteen. Eighteen hits, but the other one doesn't. No, those those are the damage. Uh, oh, okay. Eighteen yeah. total. Okay. Um. And then uh, the sword talons are going. A two and a three on the dice. So uh, you're good, I assume. A, a nine and a ten don't hit, correct? Nope. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw. Uh, let's see if you can... Is it my turn or is this like a... Oh, yeah, it's not your turn. Shit. My bad. Good call. Rollercoaster. Um, Drock is right next to me, correct? Drock is it's like ten feet away. Like ten feet away is not far. Side. Can I get to him without provoking an opportunity attack? Sure, if you kind of go around about, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Get now, if you him. if you want to get away, you may provoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get to him. And give him a level one cure wounds. Okay. Or eight points of health. Nice. <gasps> and then use my hasted action. Okay. To disengage. Okay. And then my feline grace uh -huh. to double my move speed and get as far away as possible. All right. So I'd say you could get probably 40 feet away. Perfect. Kind of at the edge uh, of this room. Sounds good. All right. Re remember that you're 40 feet away in case I forget, please. Yeah. Drac. <gasps> um, I'm going to... From from the laying down position, I'm going to cast a compulsion on all the wasps. I need okay. wisdom saves for all, from all of them. Ah, uh, no, I don't have enough sorcery points. Damn. One of yeah. them gets a 16, one of them gets a 7, and one of them gets a 21. The 7 is the only one that fails. Okay. Um, so you, you need to pick which one that is. Okay. Um, on their turn, they can take their action before this happens, uh, but they have to use all of their movement um, to move in a direction horizontal to me that I dictate. Okay. <laughs> yes! Um, you so send I, that I, wasp at me? As part of the casting, I point horizontally away from the party, okay. um, and that wasp on its turn, it can act, but its movement has to be, it has to use it, and it has to be in the all of its movement? 
Mm -hmm. all of its movement. Okay. I totally thought you were going to send them out the it window. It will move into a deadly hazard. It will provoke opportunity attacks to move. Um, oh, we were just talking about that last week, how you could use push to do that. This one specifically calls out in the spell that yeah. it will provoke opportunity attacks. Sometimes Great. if it's forced movement, it If won't. I wasn't paralyzed, I would... <laughs> <laughs> right true um but there you go so that is the and i it'll get another save on each at the end of each of its turns after it uses its movement okay um and on my turn i can use a bonus action to dictate a different direction for it to move okay as long as it's effective yep there you go that's compulsion it would have been really fun if all three wasps failed because then it could have made them dance like monkeys <laughs> That was my vision when I took the spell. Okay. Not wasps, specifically. Has anyone read the novel Futuristic Violence in Fancy Suits? No. There's like a point, the, there's a point in that book where someone gains control of like a whole gang of people and just makes them freeze. And I was like, ah, oh, she should have just made them all like do something really funny. But the, right? it's a total missed opportunity in that book. Sounds like. Uh, all right. Is that That's your turn, Drek? And, and I will stand up. Okay. And that is my turn. Jarvis. So, homeboy Jerry is still kind of like hovered, kind of like on, like hanging out of the hole. Like I was hoping for, like he's right? not hanging out. He's standing next to the near, hole. Near standing near the hole. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna try to kind of like, hopefully this doesn't hurt him. Um, I'm going to attempt to pull him into safety into the hole, out of harm's reach. So, um, Isn't the hole like a vertical shaft. It's a vertical shaft, so four feet. I assume, oh, I assume uh, you have vertical. your legs like, like. Uh, no, never mind. I thought it was for some reason. I was just assumed that it was like a slow, like incline. Oh no! Unfortunately, not. Incline. Okay, then never mind. I definitely don't want to do that. Okay. Um, um, what would you like to do? Then I'm just going to throw a firebolt out at the one closest to um, Drak. Okay. Do it. Uh, mod 20. Yep. That is eight points okay. of... <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? You're not gonna try and put them to sleep? Yeah, I was thinking the Oh that, that spell <laughs> that spell is no longer in my spell list. Oh. Rollercoast asked that question in chat and Zoom chat. So uh... Ah, I see it now. Yeah, no, that spell is I was wondering why everyone's laughing but me. I was like, He ripped I it something? out of his spell book. <laughs> yeah, I totally know he, he willfully unlearned it. <laughs> Well, actually, it's still in my spell book, but yes. I know. I'm just kidding. But there's, like, it notes is... on the margin next to it that say, there's, fuck it's this like, spell, this... didn't work again. Yeah, this didn't work. I hurt, I hurt my... Problematic. This is why Kyros, this is why Kairos died. A couple other things. Totally. Uh, Cool, so eight damage. Anything else? Uh, No, I'm going to continue hanging out in this little hole that kind of, like, ducking away. Okay. Jerry, make that so just a constitution. Come on, baby. Come on. Nice. Not 20. That'll do. Nice. Uh, but that's your turn. Uh... <gasps> Whoa. Can move my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what you do. So it's back to the hell wasps, hell wasps turn. And the first one that uh, was hit by the compulsion goes in a horizontal line 60 feet away from the party, correct? Okay. It goes, uses as much of its movement as possible. Uh, any opportunity attacks from... Uh, Doesn't that put it into a wall or something? Yeah, it, it gets to a wall. Drac, do you want to... damage from hitting the wall? Opportunity attack? No. Jerry, you get an opportunity attack. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Drac. Yeah, take a... Oh, yeah. If I get one, I get out my Get out my mall and... 
Oh yeah. Uh, I think it's let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll still do it. But hit, uh, hit him with your wand or something. I don't have. I don't have a wand. I don't have a weapon. A no warcaster. Uh, twenty. A twenty. Yeah, that hits. Level seven. Level eight. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say that and... my, my my weak punch at eleven. I uh, I I raged right before I started doing that. Uh, uh, this is a reaction, so you can't uh, rage. Oh uh, right, it's an opportunity attack. Um, okay, so I'm not raging. Um, it's sixteen damage. Okay. And so, do I get another attack? Like, as if it's my turn, or no? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know how opportunity attacks work nope single attack um i cool. try to thwack him on its butt like a horse but i miss okay the next hell what does it get a chance to do another saving throw the one yes, that it does. okay uh does a 15 work it the dc is a 15 oh, okay it's very far away though as it far is. as far away it's as a turn, it's a turn away. Mm -hmm. uh, one hell loss is still next to you, Drac, and it's gonna hit you. Yep. This time I'm gonna remember something that I can do, in case it comes in to play. That is a twenty-four and a nine. Uh, so the talons don't hit. The twenty-four does, unless you yep. go unconscious. Uh, yeah, true. So let's go ahead and uh, roll this. 10 piercing damage. I'm down. Okay. Uh, so I'll reroll the talons. Uh -oh. Twos. Nice. So nines. Okay. All right. They missed still. Can't get through my slick exterior. <laughs> 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 That's the second double low, whatever. Uh, Jerry, you're getting two attacks. Nice. Uh, is, so which one is close to me now? Because I got an opportunity to attack on the one that went Took by off. me. But... There's two kind of close to you. The one that's been hitting you every time yeah. is the one that's okay. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm going to hit that one. You can rage now. Oh no, yeah, it's I'm not ready. your turn, Jerry. It's, uh -oh. it's uh -oh. I'm saying they're hitting you. Like it's their turn and they're hitting you. Oh. Yeah. So the opposite of what you want. Uh, I, you said you have two <laughs> attacks. So I was like, okay. That's a, that's what happens. Two attacks come I, to you. If I did, I misspoke. Um all right. So that's a 12 and a uh 16. Nope. Okay. Those bracers are doing you good. Yeah. That 16 would have hit previously. Rollercos. Uh, I take out the longbow. Does that cost me an act, a bonus action or anything? No. No? Okay. Then uh, I'm going to take my three attacks, my two regular. And my I can one. assume Eight. you would have been, when you running, you would have been yeah. pulling it up. Yeah. Um, somebody, yeah. My two regular attacks and my one hasted, all sharpshooter at the one that is attacking Jerry, because I own him longer. Okay. Uh, the first attack is a 12. Nope. Second attack's a 23. Yep. Third attack's an 18. Nope. All right. Five, ten, ten, 20 damage. Nice. And that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Drac. Drac. Me. All right, the one that attacked me, I'm going to... Come on, D&D. &D. Scroll. Um, I'll mind sliver him, so I need an intelligence saving throw. Natural 20, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Wait, Drac, aren't you unconscious? I'm unconscious. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I forgot Good too. Call. I forgot I'm too. really glad you I, I, I completely I, forgot. I wasn't all expecting the... my turn to come. Everyone out. forgot except for you. 15. Cool. That's why there's five of us. Jarvis. Uh, Firebolt at the one that uh, Rollercoast just hit. Okay. No Firebolt. Okay. Jerry. 
My turn? Yep. So I'm going to take a swing with my maul. Nat 20. Nice. So that is some serious damage. So I only get to Are double one of these first? rolls. Yeah, I'm raging first. Ooh, nice. So you that's... just double the dice, not yeah. the modifiers. But I only get to double one dice, right? You double the dice. There's two D6. Yeah, so you double both of them. Oh, wow, nice. You double what you roll. Uh, and then if you get Savage so Attack... So much math. 40, uh... You add one more. If you have Savage Attacker. Or whatever it is. So you're 22 without the Savage Attack that you speak of. That you think... speak of. Savage Attack... Well, yeah, it's an extra... Yeah, Savage Attacks, when you score a critical hit roll, one of your dice an additional time. Oh, okay. That doesn't get doubled. Yeah, got it. So, 27. Nice. Very injured, the one next to you, Jerry. Okay. Take another swing at him. Okay. Ooh, not as good. Uh, that's a 13? Nope. Whew. Back to the top of the round. We got buzz, buzz. the far away one is going to fly in and uh, is going to go after the man in the hole. Uh, 18 and 17. What do these wasps sound like? Uh... Oh, I thought that was you thinking at first, <laughs> and then I realized that. <laughs> so they just sound like a, a like a teenager who like doesn't know the answer to a question in class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Six piercing damage for the sting and eight fire damage. Make a Constitution saving throw. Do I also have to make anything for staying where I'm at and not falling? No. Okay. Whew. You'll definitely fall if you go unconscious. Okay. Noted. Um, You said what kind of throw? A constitution saving throw. Oh, I like those. Um, 19. Nice. And then the sword talon hit already. And so. then I got to make a concentration save too for my haste. Okay. Uh, crap. Sorry, uh, you just got really tired. And that was uh, seven. Right? Do you have Warcaster? I have proficiency, but I don't. I think it gives me proficiency, not advantage. Oh, Warcaster yeah. me gives you check. advantage if Wait, it's for concentrating yeah. on a spell. You, you don't have Warcaster. It? Oh, you don't. Oh, no, have I, that's, I thought uh, you did. that's a different. No, that's a I'm different sorry. Warcaster. My bad. Never mind. Yeah, no, my transmute, my transmutation stone gives me Prof uh, yeah. proficiency. That's what I have. No, I don't. It's my other game that I have. So your concentration drops. All right. Uh, remember that Rollercoast because you. Yeah, I can have. I cannot move or take actions. Yep. And the sword talons do 10 points of piercing damage as it's climbing into the hole, sh shooting its talons at you. It Which hurts. one? Is this the one that Jerry was fighting that's really hurt? This is one that flew from the other side of the room. Oh, okay. Cool. And then the other two wasps... Uh, one of them is still gonna attack Drac. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do it, do it! God damn it. A 16 <gasps> and a 15? Uh, the 15 misses, but the 16 does hit. So that first attack hits, because it's advantage. Oh yeah, that was advantage, yeah, 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 so that hits. Unconscious shield. No, just kidding. Uh, and the second... That was the thing I forgot that I had. The second attack hits as well, so you lose two death saving throws. So I lose four death saving throws, because I'm unconscious, so they're crits, because they're melee hits. 
Fucking yep. Brian and his rules shit. I'm trying to... <laughs> Damn it. It's nice knowing you, Drac. What's it? I'm not so uh, convinced. I like the idea of next game, the gang going back to Mad Maggie. <laughs> being like, hey, Can you we know... put this one in the tomb, too? <laughs> We got another one for the. I just said I was gonna look after him. (laughs) Oh, it's so funny! I'll look back. Please do. (laughs) Hilarious. This is where we're gonna keep Brian's dead characters. (laughs) (laughs) Collect them. Sorry. Yeah, I love it. It's great. His other characters still burning up there. We just throw them on top. (laughs) Fine. The <laughs> They're both tieflings, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> our uh, our gang's gonna get the bean squad uh, just gonna get a punch card for that extra slot. <laughs> you get a free one at ten. He didn't need any beans. He didn't need any beans. <laughs> this is All why right. he died. Oh, that's good. Uh, so the third hell wasp is gonna hit you, Jerry. Oh God! Here's the first attack. At least it's halved now. It's a natural twenty on the first on the sting, and a two on the second talon Thank one. So the sting, yeah. So eighteen piercing damage plus eight fire damage. Cool, man. I would be down if not for having. And a Constitution saving throw. Come on, baby. Thirteen, yeah, that saves. Good job. Oh. Roller coast. Man, if Jerry went paralyzed again, I don't like our odds. <laughs> I don't either. I'm going to take three more sharpshooter attacks. Oh, you're st- you're stunned. Oh, I'm stunned. I ain't doing shit. Have we have we killed one of these guys yet? Not quite. No. Oh, God. This is like the barrel of monkeys all over again. <laughs> yep. Like a seemingly kind of benign attack, but it's, it's just three wasps. You just got to kill three wasps. The barrel was like six monkeys, if my memory serves. No, it, it was ten. It was ten. It was ten? Okay. It was double digits, yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of them and only one melee character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Drac, it's your turn. Oh, shit. I'm rubbing salt into the wound. I'm so sorry. Oh, I yeah, fucked no, up. Yeah. I'm just going on my initiative. I'm going, I'm going on my initiative had, order. Like, I'm cross sorry. it out. Do you ask the char- as a DM, do you ask the character, how do you die? I feel like that would also be like a, a rubbing salt in the wound, unless you're a... Um, there's a, there's a, a homebrew race of characters... It may be Unearthed Arcana now, because I know there's a rogue one where you're like half dead or whatever. Wait, aren't you that? No, you're not. No. Okay. No. All right. Yeah, the Undying. I the think Undying, yeah. It's even called, yeah. Um, Jarvis. Jarvis, scared shitless, is going to cast Blight at the one right in front of his face. Nice. What does and that require? I'm need a, con- a 15 con save, please. I rolled a 15, so that's a 16. Well, do half damage. Wasps, You're taking half damage. Rolling really well. Which is half of 29. So we're 14. 14. Very injured as your blight takes effect on the one in front of you. you see its flesh falling off and crumpling in, to dust in some places. All right. Jerry. Oh, spoiler back to me. Uh, yeah, so I try to take a swing at the one right in front of me. So 20. Yep. Uh, I really should just be doing this by memory at this point, but I'm not. Nine, <laughs> Poor 15. Brian's already looking at his next character. <laughs> <laughs> How, how is that obvious? <laughs> uh, what what do you get, what'd you get on the damage? Fifteen. How do you kill it? I I baseball bat it 
and it just like uh and then it goes just like face first into the gooey wall okay and then kind of like a bug splatting because it is a bug all right that one's dead anything else um i mean i get another melee swing can i like i'll i'll say you're in range of the one that's near drac okay cool the most healthy Uh, looking one 23 yes did not make it into the dice Uh, 16 damage okay Back at the top of the round. Top of the round. (laughs) All right. Somebody Uh, please kill that wasp. This hell wasp is going to fly towards uh, Rollercoast. And Jerry, you get an opportunity attack. Oh, sweet. Another mall 26. Yes. 17 damage. How do you kill it? Sweet. Just another baseball bat just against the wall, fly swatter. Okay. And the last remaining hell wasp is going to attack you, Jerry. Does it get an opportunity attack from me? Oh, uh, no. The one that just died? No, you. the one that... Uh, the last third one, one was the in one the that's hole. right on top of me. This is... The third one's dead. Uh, we may have miscommunicated on where things are. Remember, we're doing this theater of the mind, so... Yeah. Th- you okay. can't be thinking of this like... We're, we do, we're not playing on the same gridded piece of paper. So yeah. there's going bound to be some uh, miscommunication. Uh, J- the sting is another natural twenty, Jerry. I'm sorry. Yes, that hits. And I'm probably going down. Fourteen piercing damage. Huh? Maybe not. And fourteen fire damage. Yep. Uh, but since I am a Half whatever. work, you go back up. Yeah. You have endurance or whatever. Uh, yeah. What's it's a racial it ability. Relentless endurance. Yep. Your reduces your hit points, but not killed. You can drop to one hit point. Okay. Uh, and if I mark that off on my sheet. Yep. And then the talons are going to attack you now. I assume it's going to do. Uh, that's a 26. <laughs> And this will take you down uh, because it's more than one. So you're knocked unconscious. Rollercoast. All right. I am going to take three sharpshooter shots at the The last one. Remaining one, yes. I'm sorry, two because haste has dropped. Yep. It's a 19 to hit. Just hits. And then a seven. So that does not. We're all good. Seven plus five is twelve. Twenty-two. Okay. Very injured. Anything else? That'll be my turn. Okay. Jarvis. Jarvis is going to hope to finish him up with the firebolt. Mod twenty. Yes. Will 14 do it? Yes. How do you kill it? Firebolt straight to the eyeball. Okay. Nice. This room is clear for the moment. With, well, clear oh, one plus one dead body. I go up and cure wounds level one, Jerry. Okay. Sweet. Uh, Let me, what is that? Four. I'll, I'll, I got you. Five day or five health. Cool. Oh, oh man, thanks. Got your bud. Really, 
Man, that really stings. And now you see that Drak is Then I go and dead. look at Drak and check him for vitals. Nothing there. Nothing there. He gets no cure wounds. We lost another one, boys. <laughs> Jerry didn't know like, this one that well. Jerry just like taps taps him on the back. Just like God Drak. <laughs> Can't believe it. He might have <laughs> he might have survived if he wouldn't have fallen. He would have gone yeah, down. Oh, totally. Just... Absolutely. I mean, he took so, so much what you're before. saying is it's basically Jarvis's fault that he died. No. Again. Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm the one that didn't, I'm the one that didn't catch him. You caught him once. Him. <laughs> it's twice now, Gary. <laughs> I <laughs> I killed him. Technically, the sleep didn't kill him, but it led to it. Hilarious. Wow. Yeah, just like the fall didn't kill him. Just but led it led to it. To it. <laughs> <laughs> We're still, I mean, Jerry's Jerry's in rough shape. Um, I mean, I should probably use my, I have a couple. I, mean, I, have we one healing probably... I have one healing potion and I have one healing kit. I don't know how much that actually heals me. but I'm going to cast a message out to... Um... Our friend and see if any situations have changed if they've become made aware of this battle we just had or if they just look you know business as usual she so says 25 words she uh, says uh okay she, she says um there's two of them and they're just talking buzzing loudly guys i uh first of all thanks lulu um we're near you we're, we're gonna be coming soon i'll, I'll keep you what updated what does it sound like when the wasps talk? Fucking no. It sounds like an alarm clock from the eighties. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Most definitely. I don't think we've I don't think we've alerted uh the guys up there as Lulu says they're pretty distracted. Maybe we can get some time to uh, take a rest in here, and I can uh, I can keep us safe uh, with uh, I, can, I can put a hut around us. I mean, I don't even think we could we could handle like two wasps right now. <laughs> you're gonna I mean, do, you're gonna attempt a long rest. I think that's the DM huh? telling us we shouldn't do that. No, no, I'm asking. <laughs> no, no. What are you attempting? I was just gonna while we take a, um. If we take a uh, short rest, I can't heal because I've used all my. You just took a short rest. I must be missing something. You just took a short rest, like. But I thought as long as you have hit die, you can take as many short rests as you want. I don't. It's not how I've been. I didn't know there. I didn't know there was a limit. My bad. Gary can't heal at all. I'll double check the rules. That's not how I've been doing it. Yeah, I was basically down to zero from Harumon, and now I'm basically at zero from these wasps. I've got one more Cure Wounds level one and one more Cure Wounds level two. No, That's yeah, it. I should. So I mean, goes down, I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use my healing potion if I can't. Uh, if I can't rest, like long rest. Yeah, I don't think we're sleeping in here. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Uh, the the odds of the wasp would just wander into the room is pretty high. Um, but this healing potion doesn't heal me that much. It just is it a basic or a greater? It's a basic. I guess it looks like uh, two for short rest. The DM can describe how much time elapsed uh, between activity. Uh, you get. A full adventuring day, the party will likely need to take two short rests, about one third and two thirds. Yeah, I'm re I'm reading it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not required to grant a short rest um, because there may be circumstances that may be preventing it. Are you tr attempting a short rest with the hut, Liamon's tiny hut? I don't think we need to. You're just going to no. attempt a short rest, or not at all? I don't 
Jerry can't heal. I don't need it. Jarvis? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to use that healing potion. I'm... If I, I could put a number to it, I'm about 50% in pain. <laughs> Fine. God. All right, so I heal eight. <laughs> oh, no, not even. I heal six. God, those things are worthless. Okay. Uh, All right. Next Could level. Jer, I will hold on, Jerry. I will give you the level two cure wounds. Um, before we do that, just just a thought. How big was Harmon? He's medium. Thirteen. How, what size is Rollercoast? M medium. Rollercoast. Do you think you could pretend to be Harmon and just go get um? Lulu? Probably not. I probably do we, don't sound anything like him. Do we know that Haruman has, like, command over these wasps? Good point. Yeah. Jerry, you heal for 13 more. Sweet, thanks. Yep. Now I can oh. survive, like, one or two wasp attacks. <laughs> yeah. Are we out of healing spells? I've got um, one more, but I'm going to save it for somebody that goes down. Okay. We're all going to die I in think, this boss. I think yeah. we've. it should be decided what, what level you're taking next level here, roller coaster, what class you're taking that level in, right? I know what class it's going. I, I mean, I know where it's going already. In the cleric, I assume? Yeah. 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 Okay. Just because yeah. I'm thinking of all this healing you're doing um yeah. well i already we went over i want third level spells for a very specific spell all right okay um <laughs> so heading up to the next level then yeah sure all Just right leave his body here come back for it later yeah i'm not dragging it through these tunnels bro we've known the guy for like a day and a half i don't know <laughs> <laughs> heading up to the next level who's going first Jerry will go first again. How long has it been through all that healing and going to the next one? You mean in the fight? Time wise. Yeah. Like how much time from the start of this fight to us going up the next tunnel? Like 10 minutes. Okay. My protection from good and evil is gone then, I believe. Okay. Uh, so you're second then, Rolikos? Yeah. All right. You head up. And uh, you make your way into this room, Jerry. You don't see Hellwasp in here. You do see angels stuck to the walls and to the pillars in the middle of the room with larval hell wasps growing inside them while the angels are still alive, writhing in pain. How can I see them growing inside them? They're sticking partially out. It looks like they're like cut open in some way. It's like a wound. Uh, Jerry just like just goes oh man it's like it's like my my fourth grade biology class in here <laughs> wow you had the weirdest fourth grade biology class dude are you guys uh, stealthing by the way i assume before that yeah okay I would be, yeah. everyone's stealth hit me with your stealth rolls. So that, that a trace is over right yeah it's okay i roll 18 17 19. Nice. Okay. You're on the second level, seemingly without alerting anyone on the fourth level. Uh, anything you'd like to just, do on this level? It I, seems empty I other than go, Larvae. I just go, it's going to be okay. And then I look at roller coaster. I'm like, it's not going to be okay. It, it, we're going to be fine. We're going to be okay. I mean, I was talking to the guys stuck to the wall they're oh they're, okay. they're not okay yeah they're they're not remember what happened the last time we took somebody off of like a tree i'm not taking anyone <laughs> of the off of these walls <laughs> oh oh that was about that's about me oh <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah. Should have done that yeah well i would I just don't do it again oh okay just, yeah yeah first yeah. time it is what it is it happens you just never know in hell like sometimes you do crazy stuff and it helps you and then 
Oh, man. I can't figure it out. I'm not going to solve it now. And he just goes up the next ladder. Okay. Uh, heading up to the next ladder, you see a much smaller room. It is 20 feet by, at its longest point, it's uh, 20 feet by 30 feet. There are no central pillars. This is an open room. And there's things scattered about, and there's two hell wasps. Uh, buzzing next to each other, seemingly. If you could guess what they were doing, I'm probably just like peeking up. Yeah, you're peeking up. Uh, and you see Lulu attached to the wall, stuck with some of this bile and sticky insect juice uh, stuck to the wall. Man, Jerry, he thinks long and hard. I mean, he. He like goes back in the hole and he's like, "Hey, Lulu's in there. And she's stuck to the wall, but there's two two of those freaking wasps up there. Should I go try to just grab Lulu and run, or or what do you think? How how strong do you think those that like sticky stuff is? Probably pretty strong. Probably pretty strong. <laughs> if, it, the, if it's strong. keeping Lulu stuck to a wall." She's an elephant. All right. So I'm just going to go attack the wasps then. Yeah. Before you do that, and I cast my last spell, I give him protection from good and evil. And that gives him what now? Um, <laughs> Why are you until laughing? Until the spell ends. Just, the way you asked that. Sorry. One, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. This protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those type have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Okay. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Okay. Uh, so, Jerry, you're running in? Wow, I've been talking this whole time, and I've been muted. <laughs> Go me! So, <laughs> going back, um, two things. One, um, Lulu's stuck to the wall, unable to move. That. Cannot she can, get like, that. Oh. She can barely move. Create. Okay, she can yell and like no. get their focus. No. I mean, are you gonna try to cast? I'm gonna. Yeah, no. I'm gonna ask her to do that. And while I'm so I'm gonna get her to do that and try to get it. Um, do that. Blech. I'm gonna message her and try to get her to create a distraction by making noise and trying to get them to come over to her. Um and at least turn their backs to whatever this hole is. Meanwhile, um, I'm in addition to Rolikos's, um protection good or evil, I'm going to give Jerry haste. Wow, so I have, have two spells with, on me? With my yes. final spell slot, and I will be concentrating on that. Okay. Uh, Lulu agrees to do that, and uh, Jerry, what are you doing again with this haste? Um, I forget what haste lets me do. It just you gives you an extra... extra action and ac and stuff are you running to attack them or what um well they're both right next to each other right yep hmm. you're juiced it is possible like i might get lucky and kill one of them and, but i mean we start initiative right i can't like surprise them correct you might be able to but um you don't know yeah we're, i think we're hoping for that with the lulu distraction Okay, so you, but so the vote, like what we confer down in the little tunnel, and the vote is I should try to pull her off the walls, which you're trying to get me to do, right? No, I think you should. I think we're gonna have to kill him. I don't think we're yeah. gonna get her off the wall and okay. out of here. All right, I, I'm I'm good with that. So I just, I just, uh, yeah, I just run in there, guns blazing. Okay, uh, they do hear you and they do turn around. Uh, so roll initiative. Please get good initiative this time. Pretty good. 17. Also 17. And who's got higher decks? Rollercoast? Yeah. And as he's running up, Lulu is making mm, mm, noises. It's not her. Her trunk is stuck to the wall in this goo stuff, and there's plenty of other people making mumbles and pain, and uh, it's not much of a distraction for uh, 
Jerry running up. That's primarily why um, it didn't work. Uh, but uh, oh, good lord. Roller coaster, or uh, yeah, roller coaster. You're up first. All right, I'm going to take my three attacks. My the you're out of the hole. Sure. You're yeah, out of the hole next the to the hole. hole. Out of the hole. How far are they from me? Um, like twenty twenty feet. Can I get forty feet away? No, this room's no. too small. Okay. Um. It is 40 it feet long, but they're not on one end of it. I don't know the rules. Is it... How far do they have to be for me not to get disadvantage on shooting them? What's... So like, I'm a longbow. It just doesn't say on here. You should be fine. Okay. Like, cool. if you're in melee range, you get disadvantage. Oh, okay. That's all it is? Okay. Then, yeah. Then I'll just pop out of the hole, stand next to it, take the three shots, all sharpshooter. Okay. The last one will be the dread ambusher. Dread ambush here. Uh, 18? Nope. 8? Nope. And 22. Yes. That's the dread ambush here at least. <sighs> 26 damage. Nice. And that is the end of my turn. It looks bloodied. Jerry. Swing at the bloodied one first. These, this arrow, these arrows fly past your head at the wasps as you're closing the distance to smash Six, them. 16? Nope. So that's first swing. 20? Yes. And nine damage. Okay. And so then my next action also swinging at the bloody one. Okay. Holy lord. Uh, Twelve. Nope. And swinging again. Nice. Uh, Twenty-seven. Yep. Sixteen damage. Oh, sorry. I'm not adding these right. Uh... No, I'm raging, so it's 18. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you smash the first one, it's dead. Sweet. And did you take your haste action? Yeah, you just did. Oh, yeah, that okay, took... Cool. Yeah, I did not roll good damage on the first. Jarvis. Firebolt off of two. Uh, you said he's still, he's still up? One of them is up. Oh, yeah, the other one went down. Uh, 24? Yep. Five damage. And I uh, I get out of the hole and just try to go to the farthest most corner where uh, Rollicos is. Okay. All right. It's now the wasp's turn. It's going to attack Jerry. Don't get paralyzed. It's one of those things I named. It has disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that is 23 with disadvantage on the sting and a natural one on the talons does not hit nine piercing and four fire damage All right still up yeah okay roller coast Two more sharpshooter shots. Uh, mod 20 and a 12. 20 hits. 22 damage. Nice. Jerry. Swinging away with that maul. Uh, that's an 11. Nope. No, that doesn't hit. And a 21. Yep. 18 damage. Nice. You have another action, I think. Oh, right. I still have haste. Uh, 
seventeen. Nope. And a twenty. Yep. Six. Thirteen. Oh, sorry, fifteen. I keep on forgetting to add the extra two for rage. How do you kill the last one? Mm. Just uh, pin it again against the wall next to Lulu. Okay. It's dead. It's just you guys in this room with Lulu and some writhing injured angels. Uh, we'll leave it there for next week with another character down, and uh, we'll see... <laughs> another body to raid. Uh, I'm surprised we only lost one character. I am too. Also, uh, I screwed up running the Hell Wasps because they had immunity to fire damage, so that's another reason why I'm surprised. Because <laughs> if I had ran them right, Jarvis wouldn't have been using Firebolt, so... Um, anyways... That happens every time. That's I always forget one thing. That seems to be the case. Uh, but we will be back next Monday. Uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to plug? Streaming? Uh, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash IHC the Raz. Okay. And I do not have a Star Wars game Saturday because we just had our season finale and destroyed a, a uh, Super Star Destroyer. And my character, nice. my character flying a Y wing, destroyed two star destroyers uh, with bombing runs, uh, and uh, so uh, Turk Bango is basically a Republic hero. So you needed to know that. Everybody that was a great Star Wars name. Thank you. I thought of it myself. Um, <laughs> That's how role-playing works. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll find out next week what Brian's new character is. And I'll, I'm excited. I'll nice try to come like... up with another way to kill his next character. Will it last? We should, just, <laughs> we should just have him submit, like, ten characters. <laughs> yeah. And then we get to, like, just down. So we get to, like, the really good ideas at the very end. Yeah. So, Brian, this isn't like if you're, like, stuck between two classes – don't worry about it. Just pick one because eventually they'll get to it. I never am. So I like part of me is like I feel like the expectation is now I'm basically uh, I, I have to roll up a life cleric and I'm not going to. No, no. <laughs> you all it's know I'm, that's not going to happen. It's fine. I mean, I'll it has to be another tiefling, right? Superior healing abilities to keep everyone alive. <laughs> You're doing a phenomenal job. Yeah given the circumstances. If one slips through every now and again, you can't be blamed for that. Jarvis can't. Or, yeah, Jarvis can't. Uh, I try, guys. Man. Uh, okay. Note to self, Jarvis needs to some spells that uh, keep, keep Brian alive. Um, um, I'm kicking around a few ideas. Maybe one or two of them might be able to self-heal. Heal. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. A fighter. Maybe. I mean, to be fair, your last your last character could say a feel, and how did that turn out for you? It's the page I have open, Jake. Um. <laughs> I feel like we just need one more character who's good at like close combat. <laughs> like close we had that. He had that. <laughs> that exactly. was we, we tried that. That's this why is, I went with the sorcerer. You, it, you can't really. It doesn't mean you can't roll another character that's similar. You can't the really. Is the player reckless. That that. This guy. That's also true, but also decision. you can't think for every you can't come up with a character for every eventuality. Like this is confined yeah. spaces, so most of your fighting has been I would say No, when roller coasters well, can just sit back from like a hundred feet and Yeah. yeah. Confined spaces yeah. And, and very high up. Yeah. <laughs> so um we'll be back next week, Monday, seven PM Pacific. Be excellent to yourself, be excellent to others. Physical distance is your friend, and um, yeah, have fun.